Here's a quick walkthrough for our sampler routine for the Lumberg Lion X multi protocol block. Uh, here we have it connected to a Rockwell PLC. Uh, we've imported the EDS file from Lumberg's website and then we've brought in the Ethernet module for the Lion X. The only thing you need to do in here will be set your IP address. You don't need to change any other config settings of any type other than the IP address. Uh, and then here's a quick walkthrough of the routine itself. Uh, the, the first rung is just setting, showing where to set the I.O. link ports. So this is your config data um, for the module. Uh, by default, I believe all these ports will be set to three, but we did it here anyways, just to show you what your options are between inactive output, input, or I.O. link. And this is the A channel. On the B channel, you have the same thing. You set a 2 to be digital input, set a 1 to be digital output. If you've made any changes here, you do need to cycle power on the block before they'll take effect. Now here's a quick walkthrough for the AOI of the block. So here's the main AOI. Right? The first one is just naming the AOI. This is the raw data of your, of your uh, Ethernet module itself. And then here is where your raw data is for each port. So if you plug an IO link device into it and you don't have an AOI, the raw data is going to be under that port. So port 1 is going to have all your input raw data and output raw data of that device. If you do have an AOI, like our Lumberg AOIs for our hubs, Here's one of, here's the three hub AOIs we have in here. You'll see this is the 16 digital input output hub. Again, I just named the AOI. The second section is the port number. So this is this tag. So, so if I'm plugged into port two, I move it here. And then this is my data for that hub. So if I go look here, this is my UDT for the hub. So instead of raw data, now I actually have my digital inputs and outputs. Port A, digital input, port, uh, port one, digital in, A side, B side, all the way down. And same with your outputs, along with some additional statuses. So you don't need to, you know, you can just fire the output to treat it as an output or use the input. Um, and same case for 16 digital input hub, I have one plugged into port three. So I use this UDT right here, and then here's here's all my data. Uh, that's really it. Um, here's an example of a Balif AOI that we have. We're using with the Lumberg block in case you have any Balif devices. Uh, we do have to do a little bit swiping, bit swapping, which is what this is here. And then we also are reading indexes. So this is reading the parameters of your device. Uh, not necessary. You don't need to do this. This is just some people have asked for it. Uh, you can read and write parameters of your IO link device. Um, in this case, we're reading port 1 and index 12 of what this device was. And that's what this read is. So, uh, again, not necessary. Uh, you can delete these rungs if you don't need to do any reading and writing from the PLC. Uh, you can read parameters and write parameters from the block themselves and uh, as well as upload the IODD file. And that's it. There's really no programming other than setting up your AOI.